Citra is a 3 d emulator for your smartphone device. You may be wondering, how do I know? Well, it says so on their website. Within this tutorial, I'm going to include four steps. Step one being how to install the emulator. Step two, how to download ROMs. Step three, how to play these ROMs, which I assume is why you're here. And the final step is to see if your phone is compatible if you're having issues. Step one, navigate to your home screen by pressing whatever button takes you back to your home screen. Next, click on your Play Store button. Search for Citra because that's the emulator we will be using. In this case, it's pre-populated for me. I then click on the Citra emulator. I click the big green button, which says install. Now the app is installing. Yes, step one was that easy. I just had to click install. Let's go back. This is a disclaimer. As exposed by some random guy on Reddit, do not download any apps that were made by Paul Willy. This guy is a fraudster as that random guy said, and none of his apps actually work. Next, we'll do step two. We'll navigate to your web browser, and here is where it gets tricky. You click on your web browser. In this case, I'm gonna be searching for Pokemon in Mega Ruby Zaberto, so I click on it. And before you ask me any questions, let me answer them for you. Can I download Mario? Yes. Can I download Pokemon X? Yes. Can I download Yu-Gi-Oh? My answer is yes, yes, and yes. Follow this very cryptic way of finding your games below. You put your game name, you didn't write ROM, you didn't write Zaberto. Wow, that was difficult. I think you deserve a glass of water now. So next, let's navigate to the link. And let's navigate down. Go horizontal. So as you can see, there's two parts. One is a European link and one is a USA link. It doesn't matter which of these links you download, as Citra is region free, does not discriminate. Another thing you may realize is there's two parts. You need to download both parts, so part one and part two will be needed. In this case, my favorite download link is MegaRub. Let's click on part one, USA, for example, MegaRub. Let it load. Do not press anything as it will automatically continue. So it'll expect you to wait a bit here. So let it do its thing. We click next on the arrow. Ignore all this nonsense. Going down, and you can see there's a step two out of two. Going a bit wonky. Click that again, and now you can see we're on Mega Rub, and this is the first download link. And before you click on any of these adverts, no, Bitcoin will not make you rich, and no, these women are not interested in you. They're all adverts, so let's ignore all this. X, download now. Well, yeah, the download has started, as you can see here. So we will have to close this tab. Now that we're back, uh, we'll close this tab as well because it is downloading in the background. And now we want to go back to Pokemon Omega Ruby Zaberto to get the part two. We click on here again. Let's keep going down. So before we chose part one of Mega Up USA, let's click on part two, Mega Up USA. We need to repeat the same process again. Yeah, we click on it, it's, it's not anything different. And if you're getting confused, um, I don't know why. Let's click on this again. And as I said before, ignore all this spam that comes up. No, she will not make you rich. I don't know what that is because I don't speak that language. Click download now again. So let's close this tab again. Go back to Mega Up. Has the second download started? No, it hasn't. You have to do that again. Click download now. Has a second download started? No, it hasn't. So let's click this tab again. Now let's click download now again. And finally, the download has started. That's the problem with this site. Sometimes you need to do it X amount of times. So X being, could be two, could be three, before your download actually starts. It could start on the first time. So I'm going to let this download in the background. And when it has download, I'll show you how to extract these files. As you can see, the download file has completed, finally. Now that we've downloaded the files, we need to extract these files. So let's go to the Play Store and search for RAR. It's R-A-R. Let's click Install. And this is an application that will allow us to extract the file. So let it install. It's now installed. Let's click. Let's go to our download folder because this is where our download went. Download. Here you can see there's two parts, so we need to check both of them. We need to click on this arrow sign, so we click on this, say OK. 
So right now, it's extracting the file and it'll merge it into one file. So we'll let this occur and I'll come back once this is done. So now that we've downloaded the Pokemon Omega Ruby ROM, both parts, and we've extracted them, we click on the Citra app, we click on the folder, click select game folder, click download. And here you can see this is where our previous downloads are. But we want to click on download again. And here you can see the ROM. So we click select this directory. And here you can see your game. And it's that simple to play Pokemon games. So any game you want for that matter. I'm using my phone device. Let's see if I can get it horizontal. So before I go on about phone specs and how to know if you're compatible, please leave a like or comment if you really enjoyed the video. Dislike if you hated me so much or subscribe if it was that good as it really helped me out. So yeah, let's get down to the phone specs. Next, we're gonna check your phone compatibility. So we need to go to the web browser. So let me go back to Google. So in this instance, I'm gonna be searching for Samsung S8. Spelt it wrong, but Google was uh, smart enough to search for it. Then I'm going to look for GSM Arena. And this is normally a phone spec site. So it tells you the spec of this particular phone. Let me go down. So, okay. So here you can see it tells you all the specs. We want to go down to chipset. And here you can see the S8 has two chipsets, Xenos and the Snapdragon. If you've got the Snapdragon, Citra will run perfectly. If you have the Xenos chipset, which if you're not from the USA or China, as you can see there, you most likely have the Xenos chipset, Citra will not be playable. So you may be asking, okay, what if you have an S8 with a Xenos chipset, how will you play it now? The simple answer is, you can, but it will lag. Can I fix this lag? Yes, if you wait for the developers to make an update. Well, that was the video. If you had any issues, please leave a comment.